Correspondenceacademy.com, uh, give us a review of something mighty. Okay, La Syndicaliste, which is a French film, the title of which means The Trade Unionist. This is directed by Jean-Paul Salomé, re-teaming with Isabel Huppert, with whom he, he made a film called La Daronne, which over here was released as Mama Weed, which is a, a, not a great title. Anyway, this is based on the true story of Maureen Kearney, who, of whom I had not heard before, trade union activist in France. Had you heard of Maureen Kearney? Uh, no, I'm afraid. Oh, okay, no. so an Irish woman living in France, although actually from the from the, I, I only found the the Irish roots thing uh, later on because obviously Isabelle Huppert's performance is in French, and I have no idea whether or not Isabelle Huppert is doing an accent or indeed what that accent would be. So the film opens in the aftermath of a horrible attack. She is found, uh, 2012, found in her house by her cleaner, bound, gagged violated, I think is the only word to use. The story then goes back to the period before leading up to the attack. She's the head union representative for a French multinational nuclear company. And when her boss is replaced, she discovers these secret plans to do a deal with Chinese, which will have huge implications for all the workers that she represents. And she tries to to blow the whistle on the deal. And when she does so, she starts receiving threats, threatening phone calls. Her family start to think that they're being followed. And then the attack we started with. In the aftermath of the attack, she is calm and composed. I mean, actually, I was reminded of the uh, of, of Elle, which again is, is Isabelle Huppert, in which she plays a character who is refusing to be... To, to, to act like a victim. And the police start to think that her reactions aren't, uh, aren't normal, aren't what you would expect. They also can't find evidence of the attack. And all too quickly, she goes from being somebody who has been attacked to somebody who is being investigated for having given false witnesses a very specific offence in France. The, the film's inspired by an essay of the same name by Caroline Michelle Aguirre. And... Um, the director cites uh, films like Clute and All the President's Men, which are like, you know, political thrillers, American political thrillers, as influences. And I didn't, like I said, I didn't know this story before. And the story is really uh, very, very alarming. Isabelle Huppert is terrific in the lead role, as she always is. I mean, I've never seen Isabelle Huppert give anything other than a note-perfect performance. And I was reading this thing that the, the director wrote about it, saying it's a drama that frightens through its clinical approach to themes, such as the place of women in spheres of power, the importance granted to their speech, and the assumption of their madness and their manipulative behavior, which is kind of the thing that's at the heart of the film. I mean, on the one hand, it's a story about a whistleblower, and you can see links to things like, uh, you know, um, you can see, like I said, you can see links to those political thrillers that he cited. But it is also about what happens when you have a powerful woman in a largely male-dominated workplace who starts to speak out of turn and the way in which the world around them reacts. And an awful lot of it is to do with the fact that as far as everyone around her is concerned, she is not behaving in the way she should do if the story that she's telling is true. Now, you, uh, in case people don't know the, the story, and I didn't, so I didn't know where it was going. And obviously you can look it up. It's a, it's a real life story. It is a, a fairly alarming real life story about her then subsequent legal battle. But the drama is very gripping. It's well directed. Um, there, I really did not know which way the story was going at all. And personally, I felt, found that that actually worked for the drama. Although, of course, this is a real life story with real life consequences with a real life outcome. And so you may wish to, to find out about the real life outcome in advance. Um, and Isabelle Huppert is just, Isabelle Huppert just continues to be she just never puts a foot wrong. She is a really, really fine actor and she kind of carries the film and it's called La Syndicaliste. La Syndicaliste. Yep. Um, but okay. Literally so, the trade unionist. So, that's about, La Syndicaliste sounds more powerful, do you know? Yeah, no, it's a, which is why I think they've kept that title because I think it is a really good title as opposed to Mama Weed, which is not, okay. <laughs> which is not yeah, such a great not, title. No, no, indeed not. Okay, still to come. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. While you're here, check out all the other videos because they're cool too, aren't they? They are. And if you want to keep up to date with everything Kermit and Mayo's take, then check out our social channels. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, I, I would. I have done. Excellent.